Hello guys, in this video we're going to look at NanoSleep, which is used to pause the execution of a program for a certain amount of time. So we're going to be looking at um, DB, DW, DD, and DQ. We have learned DB in the past, that's define bytes, and how it can be used to define bytes of data. A byte is always 8 bits, ranging from 0 to 255, or negative 128 to 127. So here we had our data section. And we had some data and we defined bytes five. And so now some data would um this would be the memory address of this uh five we defined, the single byte of the value five we defined that we could reference later in our code. So a word is a certain number of bytes arising from the processor's design. For x86-64 processors, the word is equal to two bytes or sixteen bits. A D word is equal to a, or a double word is equal to 4 bytes or 32 bits and a Q word or quadruple word is 8 bytes or 64 bits. So it's kind of easy to remember because a word is 2 bytes so D word double that's just double is 2 so just 2 words that's 4 bytes then quadruple which is 4 that's just 4 times 2 which is 8 bytes or 64 bits. So these can be defined using DW, DD, and DQ so DB as we learned in the past, is define bytes. DW is define word. DD is define double word. And DQ is define quadruple word. So like in the past, where we could, uh, um, if we use define bytes, that can only do a value between 0 and 255. With define word, you could do much larger values because you can now go up to, rather than um, 2 to the 8, you have 2 to the 16. And then this one, you have 2 to the 64, so you have very large values you can define. But just remember that, like if you do DQ, every Q word you define is going to take up 8 bytes of data. So I'm also going to look at time spec. So time spec is a structure which holds two values, TV sec and TV insec. Here's just a screenshot of cppreference.com. Um, TV sec and TV insec are both integer values. In other words, they are Q words. And um, the max value for TV insec is 999,999,999 because one second equals one billion nanoseconds. So your seconds could be anything greater than zero, but your nanos are greater than or equal to zero. And your nanoseconds have to be between zero and um, 999 million uh, nanoseconds and the reason that be for that is because one seconds one billion nanoseconds so um the that means that your nanosecond range is between zero and um, one second minus one nanosecond so sys nano sleep this system call can be used to suspend a program for a certain amount of time it is called nanosleep because its precision is down to nanoseconds. The two arguments are both pointers to time spec values. The first argument is the length of the delay, and the second op is often just left blank. So RSI is set to zero for the second argument. Oh, and the ID for it is 35. Um, this code here will sleep for 5 seconds and um, 500 million nanoseconds. Um, Basically meaning it will sleep for five and a half seconds. Um, after five and a half seconds, the program will end. So the first value here is TV sec, and the second value is TV insec. So what we've done, we've in our data second, we've done a delay, and we've done define keyword, because um, this is a time spec value, which takes two keywords. The first is... um. In, um, TV sec and the seconds TV insect. So I'm saying five seconds and then 500 million nanoseconds. So that's five. So this delay is equal to five and a half seconds. This is the ID of sys nanosec. It's just um, 35. Here we load the pointer to our delay into RDI. So we just load uh, the memory address of RDI or of the delay into RDI, and here we just set the second argument to zero, and finally we call it. So that's all we have to do, and we can actually specify a delay 
um, as long as you want with precision down to nanoseconds using this method.